my dear friends we hear god speaking to us from matthew's gospel chapter 5 verse 17 to 19 i have come to fulfill the law and not to destroy the law and anyone who obeys the law will be great in the kingdom of god and one who doesn't obey will be least in the kingdom of god my dear friends when jesus came into the world and he proclaimed love your neighbor pray for those who are persecuting you the people of israel could not understand he is jesus teaching something new because moses had taught them that if anybody takes your teeth another teeth will be taken if somebody is breaking your hands or feet hands and knees will be broken so they got disturbed and confused what does the lord say the lord says i have not come to abolish the law which god has given to us through moses but understand i have come to fulfill it how my dear friends the truth jesus is teaching us is man who is born on this earth can become an active act like an animal also or the same man can act like a man or a divine so man has the possibility to act in three ways and the three ways is either he can be an animal or he can be normal human being or he can be divine we find in the old testament when god created man though in his goodness and in his own likeness man started to behave as he thought we read in genesis chapter 3 verse 6 when eve saw the fruit she said this fruit is good for looking tasty for eating and for mind it looks as though it is going to give wisdom and without any knowledge without even talking to god consulting god or consulting her husband whatever i feel like i will do that is kind animal behavior the animal will bite the hands of the master if he pulls away the food yes and we find in genesis chapter 4 verse 4 abel offers the best what he had from his field and in fourth chapter verse fifth when god saw that abel's offering who came with love and bringing the best of his offering in gratitude to god god showed favor to him but cain got so angry and he wanted to finish him off but god in his mercy comes and talks to cain don't do like that but in verse 8 to be find not listening to god his animal behavior is stronger than the love which god showed to him he opened to his animal behavior than to the love god showed to him so even he murdered his brother so certain discipline has to come into the world so god taught moses there should be discipline there should be life you cannot simply take the life of somebody you cannot behave with somebody as you wish the another person also human being the another person has got feelings emotions so if you are trying to take somebody else what belongs to others is yours will be also taken away 
and that is the right god was dealing man and guiding him gradually because our god is our father he comes down to where we are that's why in john 3:16 we read god so loved the world that he who was in heaven he came down to the earth to be like a man yes so we have to understand god in that way so now god has taught man don't simply take the life don't behave like an animal behave like a human being have concern for another being worried about another god lives in another the same god who loves you loves the another if you hurt another and it is right for him to hurt you back come to your senses and behave in a normal way behave as a human person but when jesus came into the world he taught it's not enough that you behave like a normal human being from behind from human we also need to move into divine when people hurt you because they do not have love and you though you are hurt you need to overcome your hurts and feed that man who hurts you with love and transform his life with your love for which you got to pay the price he comes and takes away your coat you give even your inner bunions to him he slaps you on the one side maybe he is full of hurt give him show him love and show the another cheek jesus is not teaching something at a uh, teaching against moses but it says go beyond it once when mother teresa went to ask for food to a shopkeeper the shopkeeper came down spat on her hand and said you are a white dog why did he come and she was not hurt she took it and she said thank you sir for giving me but i my children are hungry give something for my children the hurts and wounds are part of our life but what do the hurts and wounds do to us will teach us whether we are still behaving like an animal or we are crying for tit for tat or we are moving away from human to divine when mother teresa raised the right hand though the evil spirit came in the form of man to hurt mother teresa mother teresa didn't allow that evil which is working in that evil man to spit on her hand but she stood with love she stood with the holy spirit and she overcame not only that evil spirit she chased away the evil spirit with her holy spirit but she oh, she won that man don't roam around your weakness move with your strength that is the teaching of today everywhere you go darkness will be there don't get upset with the darkness keep alive your light and transform remove the darkness and lighten the darkness brighten the darkness and that's what jesus says i have come to fulfill the law and if anyone stands with the law of god the heaven will be with him the holy spirit will be with him if anyone doesn't obey the law the enemy evil will be part of their lives yes so god is asking each one of us to be aware of our own thinking our own behavior our own life and let's look at the cross where jesus transforms himself from being human to the divine he prays for those who persecuted 
because those people said to pilate let this man sin come upon us let his sin will come like a curse jesus said i have not come to give curse to you i have come to be a blessing so jesus says father forgive them he didn't allow their hurts to overcome him but he overcame the hurts with his love that's why romans 5:5 says the love of god is poured into our hearts through the power of the holy spirit let's pray lord we thank you for this beautiful day reading we have the grace to reflect you have come not to abolish the law but to fulfill the law the human beings from animal behavior they should become a human behavior and they should possess your divine behavior and share your divinity your grace your mercy and make this world a place of heaven in jesus mighty name we pray for oh lord bless all those who hear the word of god with your holy spirit with your love with your spirit in jesus name we pray amen